So one thing that algebra teachers really like is if we get time to get to the linear programming section of your algebra books. It seems like it pulls a whole lot of things together, plus it's just really cool. So what this is, is we will be maximizing or minimizing an objective function that will be subjected to a set of constraints. So these constraints for us, these will be a system of inequalities. So sometimes you'll have to come up with those and sometimes they'll be given. In this case, they're just given. So here are my constraints and here's the objective function. Don't freak out about the notation here. This is just telling us that I have two letters to plug in over here so I have to give it two numbers and they go in order. So here we go. Here are our constraints. I have four. I have the x's that are greater than or equal to zero. The y's have to be greater than or equal to zero plus a 2x plus y has to be less than or equal to 5, and x plus y has to be less than or equal to 4. So this was the only graph paper I had, but those first two constraints right, keep me in quadrant 1. So I'm just in quadrant 1 because of the first two. So now let's graph the second two. So 2x plus y less than or equal to 5. And remember when we graph the inequality, we think of that as an equal sign first. And then, um, and then we go back and, and think about the inequality symbol later. So I need my y-intercept to be 5 and my x-intercept, so if y is 0, x would be 5 halves, so 2 and a half. So that would be right about here. And I'll put my straight edge there and connect those two points. And I just need it here in the first quadrant, so you don't need to take it too far away. And then looking at the second one, I have an x-intercept of 4 and a y-intercept of 4. So there's that one and that one. Oh, I wish my graph were bigger. That's okay. We'll plot those two points and connect them. And then my zeros because of the first two, greater than or equal to 0. So what that does for me is that gives me this region here we find something that's not quite so dark. Right. This shaded section is the feasibility region. If I'm subjected to these constraints, I can only pick points that come in that shaded region. And not only that, it has to be one of the vertices. So I need to find those corners of that shape that's in there. So that four-sided shape, I need to find those four corners. Those are the vertices. So some of them we're just going to read. So 0, 0 is 1. So the vertices. I have 0, 0 is one of my vertices. Um, I had a couple of the other ones just from graphing. So this one right here was the x-intercept from one of my lines, from this line right here. So that x-intercept has a 0 in the y position, and the x was five halves. This point up here was 0, 4 that I used to graph my other line. Now the one I have to work on is the intersection of those two lines. So let's do that little work down here. So 2x plus y equals 5 and x plus y equals 4. So solving that system, I'll go ahead and do the addition method. So I'll just multiply the bottom by negative 1 and add the two lines. So their signs change, add them together. X, the Y's go away just like we thought. X equals 1. Plug that back in to find out what Y has to be. So 2 times 1 plus Y equals 5. That looks like a Y value of 3. So my other vertice is the point 1, 3. So I have four vertices. Now I'm still not done. Now I have to take each of these in turn and evaluate my objective function at them. And whichever pair, of, whichever set of points gives me the highest number here is the maximum. So we're maximizing this objective function subject to these constraints. I could have said minimizing, but maximizing, maximizing is more interesting on this one. Here we go. So f of 0, 0. 6 times 0 plus 8 times 0. Hey, that's 0. Okay. f of 5 halves comma 0. 
So 6 times 5 halves plus 8 times 0. So what are we going to get there? 2, 3, 15 plus 0? So 15. f of 0, 4. 6 times 0 plus 8 times 4. 6 times 0 is 0. 8 times 4 is 32. Okay. And f of 1, 3. 6 times 1 plus 8 times 3. So I get 6 plus 24, 30. So it looks like the maximum for the objective function is 32. And it happens at the point zero four.